Common Roots centers on both food education and food access. And our story goes way back to 2007 when a group of 35 people, school nurses, parents, our principal, uh, teachers, and other community members recognized that we literally had no food education in our school and we had no food security access in South Burlington. If you're someone who really wants to be uh, supportive in your community and caring about one another and feeling like it's unfair that people don't have the same opportunities, man, you gotta start with the food. The, the, you know, the scary fact of the food shelf here in South Burlington is 80% of our customers are full-time employed which is a shocking number. We expected in South Burlington there'd be approximately 200 to 250 households that would need the food shelf. And in our existence, in the nearly three years we've been open, we've had uh, 698 households. We're really shocked by that. I mean, that's nearly, it, it, it's close to triple what we thought. You know, any little donation can, is so changing on a farm like this. It's just amazing to see people's generosity and even though we're, you know, a tiny farm in Vermont, there's still hundreds and, you know, if not thousands of people that we're feeding, well, not only feeding, but educating. I've always been interested in wanting to support uh, food insecurity, you know, organizations that help deal with that. But I think what drew me to Common Roots was just, was the, the education side of it. So going into the schools and teach, you know, getting the kids involved in growing the food and knowing where the food is coming from and then knowing what to do with the food from a cooking it and preparing it point of view in interesting ways. As far as child development and that sort of thing, while we've got those developing years, we certainly want to make sure that we're getting nutrient-dense foods in with diversity and with the education because sustainability is a thing. You know, um, this is what Common Roots is all about. Helping people get fresh food, teaching them about how to prepare for their own. Because our goal is to be defunct. So much of these donations are able, you know, or what allows us to donate so much of the food. And so, you know, it's not just for new equipment or whatever, but there are people who would otherwise not have any access to this, you know, healthy, organically produced food that because of donations, you know, they, they might be able to. This community is full of such big hearts, people who want to be helpful and in a community way that really supporting places like Common Roots and supporting our regenerative farmers as much as you can, make it a line item. Because if you really mean to be making a difference, you really have to pay attention to where the support is being asked for. And, and Common Roots is really hitting at the base of the community level, the way that they're coming into food shelves and education and classrooms and bringing in our um, Abnaki brothers and sisters and all of the connections that go on here. It works better for me and my family if, we, if I donate a small amount regularly. I find it less stressful. I find that I can think about the number more meaningfully <laughs> rather than a check at the end of the year. So in this campaign at this important time, we're aware that we are spending a growing amount of money for our farm operation to be able to give this increased volume of food to three food shelves. The South Burlington Food Shelf, where our farm stand is up every week in the growing season, May 1st through Thanksgiving. We bring food to Feeding Chittenden and to the food shelf in Shelburne that is a special food shelf for the Abenaki people. In order to do this, we need a partnership um, from you. That is, that you would help us to attain this growing uh, budget to be able to send this volume of food from our local farm that is certified organic for the community.